Are you tired of feeling, well, tired, bored, anxious, depressed in a world blah? <laughs> Would you like more zest for life, more energy, more enthusiasm? I used to be there not so long ago, and it's really not a fun place to be stuck in. So listen on and you will discover how you can get your mojo back and enjoy life more. I am Peggy Van de Plage. I'm a former banker and venture capitalist, and I now speak and write about the psychedelic industry and the benefits of microdosing psilocybin. So I created the Microdose Diet, which is a 90-day plan for passion, success, and happiness. And that's what I want to tell you about today. So many of you have read about the great benefits I have been experiencing from microdosing psilocybin especially in combination with practices such as tapping meditation, visualization, guided meditation. And uh, since publicizing my foray into psychedelics, I have been contacted many, many times by some of you who are curious and would like to experience the same benefits. And these benefits can be focus, productivity, presence, an elevated mood, also a reduction in stress, in anxiety, in depression, as well as improved awareness. So in a nutshell, you want more passion, you want more success, and you want more happiness. And I commend you for that. Uh, as luck and timing would have earlier this year, I was contacted by a New York-based literary agent who asked me to formalize the process I have developed and followed uh, for myself. And I have advised already many to follow as well. Um, so the result is a book called The Microdose Diet, The 90-Day Plan for Success and Happiness. At least that's the title uh, that is submitted to a publisher now. So we'll see what, uh, what they want to go with at the end. Uh, so the book will be out next year, but I really wanted to share a bit of a sneak peek with you, uh, a summary of the process so you can uh, you can start playing with it. Um, I will also launch a community on this topic so people can exchange and you can ask questions and also uh, see uh, see your peers progress and really, uh, really feel uh feel very free about it and I will make it anonymous as well so you don't have to worry about uh, any stigma about it if you're worried about it. Um, so this 90-day plan has four parts lasting three weeks each and uh, every week is different building on the previous one and each part is also uh, building on the previous part. So um, what I'm going to tell you, what I'm going to show you is, is a simplified version of the microdose diet, uh, but it should already give you great benefits uh, if you do follow it, obviously. Uh, if you don't follow it, well, uh, nothing happens. Um, so you will notice that I focus a lot on clearing. I want to repeat I focus a lot on clearing. There is a reason for that. So before you can add uh, life-affirming thoughts, words, and actions, we need to create space by getting rid of all the negative thoughts, words, and actions. And, um, you know, it's very simple. If you want to transform your own, you're not adding new furniture to the furniture you're already having. Um, you get rid of the old stuff. Uh, hopefully you uh, give it away or you recycle, but that's another story. And then you bring in the, the new stuff. You need space. And, and that's one of the things I have to say in, 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 <laughs> in the self-development uh, industry. Very often it's about adding, adding, adding. But in order to have space to add, you need to remove old stuff that is not um, suiting you anymore. So um, I'm going to give you a bit of um, an overview of the first part, which is from week one to week three. And it's really about assessing where you are and starting this clearing exercise I'm telling you about. So um, before you begin, you're going to need a journal that you can dedicate to this program. Uh, bear with me. I know what you're thinking. Uh, I look like a journal. Uh, I don't want to write. I know 
I ate that when I'm told to take a journal. I ate it almost as much as when I am told that I have to meditate. Uh, but there is a reason for that. Writing down your thoughts, feelings, and progress is a key part of the process. Um, because we live with your, ourselves 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, um, it's very hard to see progress in action. And uh, also by journaling, you focus your mind. So don't forget that your unconscious is always watching you. So when you record your progress, you are brainwashing yourself uh, and your mind into getting more of what you want. So many studies have shown that by priming your mind, you can influence your mindset and performance. So it's it's really in your control to decide what you want your mind to be primed with, success and happiness, or negativity and despair. So that is why it is so important to write uh, to write down. And hopefully uh, we'll focus on happiness uh, and success versus negativity and despair. So on the first page of the journal, I want you to write down your intention for the next 90 days. Why are you doing this process in the first place? I'm sure there is a reason behind that. You want to have better relationship. You want to have more zest for life. You want to have more success at work. There is an overarching uh, want that you have. So after you've identified your intention, it's time to gain a better understanding of your starting point and begin the process of clearing out your body to prepare for the benefits of the plan to take hold. So, so the first tool to assess your starting point is very fairly straightforward. Uh, I really like to start with a very simple assessment exercise. So on the next page of your journal, I really want you to write down 10 different categories. The first is relationship with yourself. The second is relationship with your partner. The third one is a relationship with your family. The fourth is relationship with others, with the world around you. Then health, money, career, spirituality, leisure, and zest for life. So that's the 10 category I want you uh, to, to write down on your journal. And then what I want you to do, and I don't want you to overthink it. I want you to go very fast. I want you to rank yourself on a scale of 0 to 10 in each category. How well are you doing in each category? 10 being uh, I'm amazing, 0 being I'm in the shitter. Write the first number that comes to your mind. Uh, no one has to see it. So write what you believe, uh, you do it for yourself, and then you calculate your overall score. And that's going to give you an idea of where you are, obviously, uh, overall, but also what categories are probably dragging you down. Uh, there is another assessment tool that I really love uh, that I use in the microdose diet, which is called the energy map. Um, and I'm going to uh, send uh, the link in the comments or add the link in the comment to, um, so you can, you know, uh, refer to an article I wrote where I really detail how to do that. Um, that energy map is really looking at what are you doing over the course of a week and what are these activities that are bringing you energy, bringing you success, bringing you happiness, and what are these activities or people or situations that are actually dragging your energy. Because obviously, we want more of the good stuff and less of the bad stuff. But to be able to do that, you need to know uh, where you're spending your energy today. So, so now you have a starting point. You can triangulate your situation between the 0 to 10 ranking and that energy map. So where are you doing great? Where are you doing not so great? And where are you doing not great at all? Um, is there any area that is dragging down your overall score? Or are the scores fairly aligned between categories? Can you identify any common threads between the various categories? Um, when I did this exercise, um, I realized how oh, often my own needs were put last and not met. And that is really because uh, I had this very unpleasant <laughs> uh, 
people pleasing tendency. I think it was pleasing for others, but not so pleasing for me. So try to find, is there a thread that is undermining you across these categories or is it one big boulder uh, in, in one specific area? So during these first three weeks, I want you to gradually limit your intake of alcohol, tobacco, recreational drugs, sugar, and meat. Uh, and I also would love you to increase your water intake, to drink herbal cleansing tea, dry brush. Um, so, so we really want the toxins to leave your body and mind. Um, and we also want, and that's super important, we want to give a message to your unconscious that you are off the autopilot. You're moving from the passenger seat to the driver seat now. And you are committed to seeing your life change for the best. You're the boss. You're in charge now. Uh, and as the weeks go on, I want you to continue to pay attention to this. You know, are you uh, eating garbage? Well, I'm sure you don't think that uh, you want to be a garbage uh, in uh, your best uh, life. So why would you treat your body like that? So really, really, really be conscious, be aware. You're in charge. Let's do it. So last but not least, I want you to clear your space. So you've started to clear your body. You started to clear your mind. Now it's time to get rid of everything that is not aligned with your vision of success. And whatever your vision of success is, old magazines, old books, old newspapers, old clothes, old knickknacks, all that stuff has to go. Ask yourself a question. Would the happy, successful, hot you wear ill-fitted clothes or surround herself, himself, themselves with knickknacks? Likely not. So we're cleaning inside out everything that is not congruent with that vision that you have with yourself. Start with that. And keep in mind, your unconscious is always watching you. So it's important to show that you're committed you know, you're brainwashing yourself into really going in that direction. So um, in the next uh, edition, we will discuss the next part of the microdose diet, which is going to be the following three weeks. Um, I really hope you enjoyed, you know, this abbreviated version. That's the first part. We're cleaning, we're cleaning, we're cleaning. Uh, congratulations, you know, for allocating the time, the energy, the resources for you to feel, you know, happier and more successful. Um, my book, The Microdose Diet, is in the work. Uh, it should eat the shelves in 2024. That's very exciting. So the book will contain many more tools uh, to bring more happiness and success in your life. And it will also bring a comprehensive overview of psychedelics. So uh, if you decide to join the Microdose uh, Diet community, you will receive tons of guidance and support to up-level your life. So, uh, you know, life is too short not to experience it uh, fully. So you can check my website, themicrodosediet.com, and you'll get more information. Thank you so, so much for listening and watching, and I'm really looking forward to the next edition. Don't forget to comment if you have any questions, and yes, like and subscribe and share with your friends. Have a great day. Take care.